Hello everybody, this is CJ Wiley, back with more Adventures on the Road. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the mental game and kind of how I developed mine through uh, reading some, some very influential books and especially being around some of the, the greatest players in the world that uh, really focused on how to get into the zone and how to play uh, as Dalton used to say with thoughtless thought, effortless effort. And uh, Dalton was one of my inspirations and mentors when I was uh, 18 years old is when I met Dalton and uh, we ended up going on the road for about six months. He was an Asian man and very wise. He was into the martial arts. He was really one of the key elements that got me into the martial arts because you know, I, I really focused on the mental side uh, through reading a book that Dalton recommended called Zen and the Art of Archery. Was uh, I've probably read that seven times. Each time that I've read it again, I got something else out of it. And that's kind of how we progress is uh, through levels. You know, your levels of understanding will start to build. But you have to have a good foundation. And uh, the foundation of my uh, pool playing was how to get into that zone the easiest, most effective way, and to be able to do it pretty much at will. Now, this is a practice thing because uh, I don't play as much as I did uh, years ago, and I have a lot more trouble getting into that zone. But if I was going to start playing really seriously again, I would definitely go through the same procedures that I did and would probably read Zen of the Art of Archery again uh, as soon as possible. Because that book was about uh, a man and a woman that, that go to Japan to study Zen. And, you know, you have to do it through some type of uh, physical... Like, uh, in this case, he used archery. His, his uh, wife used flower arranging. Martial arts is another good one. But, uh, and pool. Pool is a really, really good uh, self-expression game. People talk about, is it a sport or is it a game? And I've always taken the position that it's, uh, it's an art form. It's a way of self-expression. And uh, like Dalton used to tell me, uh, you know, we gambled and, did it for a living, so money was important, obviously. But he really emphasized that money must be a result and never an incentive. He said if you're just playing for the money, <clears throat> you won't be able to reach those levels that you can if you treat it as that art form and uh, just strive to perfect the game. The game in itself is perfect. We just have to bring out that perfection. And... Uh, in that Zen and Art Archery book, the man, like I said, used archery, and he had, uh, you know, a lot of examples of when he was working with the master archer and, uh, you know, how he struggled to pull back the bow. It was, it was a very heavy tension, and he wasn't strong enough to do it, and he just naturally thought it was because of his physical strength. And his master showed and proved to him that it was really his mental strength. The master said, you know, you mentally pull the bow back. And uh, again, it's an effortless effort, which sounds like a contradiction. But it's really tapping into the subconscious mind, which is so powerful. I mean, all of us have had, uh, you know, times where we go into that zone, especially driving. You know, I've, I've improved my game a lot just by driving and mentally rehearsing certain shots. And, and if I had trouble with my game, I found that if I really focused on it uh, while I was driving and uh, oftentimes when I went back and physically did it, it would just appear to have fixed itself. But I was doing it mentally. Now, you can't have the mental without the physical. So, you know, I think the physical part of pool is the foundation uh, that you build your mental game on. So, you know, when I teach, I, I stress the literal foundation of the game, which is the uh, stance, 
you know, you have to have your feet positioned properly because your right foot controls the right side of your body and your left foot controls the left side of your body. So the foundation in everything is key. And again, it's, it's so that you can build uh, your, your structure, whatever the case may be. So back to that uh, Zen and the Art of Archery. <clears throat> so the man learned to uh, mentally pull back the bow. And uh, like with pool, you know, you need to mentally pull the cue back. And uh, the release is, is so important in pool. And how it's said in, uh, in the Zen and Art of Archery book, uh, the hitter and target become one. And the release is like snow falling off a bamboo leaf. So the bamboo leaf, if snow is falling on it, it, it starts to, to uh, lower and then it just releases. And that's a really good mental image to have uh, with your pool game. You have to just mentally allow it to release. The hitter and target become one. So the cue ball and the object ball need to become one. I don't aim at a particular point on the uh, object ball. I really just create that unison between the two balls to create the angle and then, uh, you know, rehearse where that cue ball is going to go. But I, I don't really uh, visualize it as much <clears throat> as I feel it. I feel where the cue ball is going to go and, um, and just let it happen. You know, if you, if you, if you try to do it and, uh, and think too much, you're going to hinder your ability for that self-expression. Again, the cue ball and object ball become one and the release is like snow falling off a bamboo leaf, it releases. And when I say it, it's that part of your subconscious that uh, really musicians tap into, artists tap into, anybody that's mastered something will tap into it. So whatever you want to think of it being, uh, your higher power, or, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, words are a secondary representation of experience. So what you call something is your own personal business because that's the word that triggers the result that you want. So if I call it it, you can call it that <laughs> or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter, like I said, because we're tapping into something that's really beyond our comprehension. And when you see someone like an Efren Reyes or uh, someone that's really mastered the game of pool, you are seeing it play through him. And that's another thing that I've always said is when I get into that zone, I go from me playing the game to the game playing through me. And that's how I experience it. And again, I think if you talk to somebody that mastered uh, any type of art or music or whatever the case may be, they're going to describe that similarly to how I do. I'm just trying to make it simple so it's easy to understand because if somebody makes things too complicated, generally there's uh, some kind of a flaw because I think wisdom is always in the simplicity. So uh, if somebody can't explain something in simple terms that, uh, a five-year-old could understand, for instance, then they probably don't grasp the core foundation of what they're talking about. Uh, you know, is there exceptions? Yeah, but I'm, I think you see my point. So anyway, in your own pool game, uh, that's what I would I would focus on. I, I highly recommend reading that Zen and Art Archery. If you have the time, it's a you can read it in one day. It's not a big book, but uh, it really is packed with wisdom. So I would recommend you read it once and wait a few days and maybe uh, read it again and, and just try to grasp the deep level of teaching that's in it. Because again, learning and knowledge is uh, in levels. So the higher your mental level gets, the deeper you will see the meaning in things like uh, Zen and the Art of Archery and a lot of the ancient manuscripts are like that. You just uh, you keep getting deeper and deeper as your mind becomes more conditioned to understanding the true wisdom that's within the words. Words being a secondary represent representation of experience, 
we can't experience what somebody does, but we can get a secondary representation of that experience through the words they use. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going <clears> to <throat> have a couple other uh, uh, mental side talks and more about what Dalton taught me and some of the great players that I was around in pool and, and a few other things too. So anyway, uh, if you want to learn the physical part of my teaching, you can uh, see all my instructional videos at www.masteringpocketbilliards.com and it'll show you my systems techniques and the fundamentals I used to become one of the best players in the world. And uh, I think it'll help you reach your fullest potential, uh, whatever that may be. Anyway, this is CJ Wiley. Uh, I'll see you next time.